I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. What if you could go back in time? Back in time to 2020s. Today we are introducing a new expansion, Silverhand add-on, where you experience these thrilling Ed Runner adventures as Johnny Silverhand, Carrie, Rogue, and Spider Murphy. So over 50 years ago, uh, in 2020s, a series of tragic events led to the emergence of Night City most prominent legends. And since then, Spider Murphy, Rogue, Carrie, and Johnny become one of these iconic characters and take part in the epic heist that established the major leagues. Time to burn this city samurai. And you can get that expansion with all its contents right now when you visit our GameFound page. So this add-on includes four sets of full character components. So each has a miniature character ID card, a quick hack, nine action cards, including one legendary, and three advanced action cards. We also have mission components for new epic missions. So we have six mission cards, glitch tiles, glitch spaces, and one bomb board. We also have some iconic gear here, obviously. Malorian Arms 3516, Soul Killer, and a bomb. So here you become the edge runners who started it all. Uh, Johnny Silverhand, who is a, he is a rocker boy, uh, a solo, a legend. And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. So he is like the definition of an edge runner and a key role model for all modern rebels. Uh, he has a deck of cards, action cards, dominated by red, red cards. Uh, so he'll deal damage to anybody who stands in his way. There are no walls strong enough for Johnny. He will blast right through him. He'll also use his quick hack, detonate grenade, which deals three points of damage to anybody in the room. Sounds crazy? A little crazy, but you know, you got a city to burn. We also have Carrie. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Who for decades been an, among the top musicians in the world. So the price of the guitars he broke during the spectacular performances like reached thousands of euro dollars and the, he, the music he made, you know, guided generations. And now it can lead to great success. So actually he is unique because his action cards let him play an alternative soundtrack for the fight and while it lasts all edge runners on the board they can um, apply additional symbols from their action cards when Kerry is there playing you'll you'll never fade away and because he follows his own rhythm right he can use a quick hack breach protocol to open any door on the battlefield we also have rogue obviously she has the reputation of best fixer but she is a veteran edge runner. So decades before running Afterlife, where like the modern icons are born, she stood by Johnny during the legendary assault. So her nick for acquainting the right people, like let's to her accommodate to all situations. So it's reflected with her orange cards, ready to craft a solution to any problems and the special symbols when she unlocks all rows of actions, the next card you play. So she has a unique symbol and also special quick hack connected to that character. It's grass green, birds fly, the cats eat bats, the rats shit gnats. And Spider Murphy, amazing net runner. She can achieve anything she wants in net space, like treating it's, it like it's her playground. So her deck is dominated by green action cards and the special symbol lets her deal a point of damage and gain RAM at the same time. So she has also personal ice that converts RAM into a shield. So she could negate the damage that she's getting. We call it like a frozen life bar, let's say. You become these legends and you rebel against megacorps in two exciting missions. The final countdown, when you revisit the most legendary moment in Night City history, you do the impossible. You destroy Arasaka Tower. 
And to achieve this dangerous mission, you have to prepare a powerful atomic bomb. So it takes a lot of precision and could be fatal if you lack the precision. So first you have to find out how to do it and get materials. And when you feel confident, you use the materials, different components, to build pillars on the board. And the clock is ticking. So keep your cool. And the second mission, two minutes to midnight. It's connected to Johnny Silverhand's story as well. So he has a rich history of epic actions. And now he'd like to tell you how he managed to get the infamous atomic bomb that blew up Arasakatara. Ah, oh, damn. Done and gone. Remember, he had his fair share of drugs. So, besides making him happy, relax, there are also holes in his memory. So in this crazy mission, those holes in the memory are represented by glitched spaces on the map. So when your edge runner steps into a glitched space, they get caught in Johnny's imaginative version of events, let's say, and they should be moved to a glitched tile. So the same goes for enemies or any game components that get in contact with glitched spaces. So maybe those glitched spaces can be used to your advantage. So two new, fresh, big, amazing missions you have here. But there's more because you are facing a new enemy, the Night City Police Department. And this new enemy faction is ready, obviously, to deal with anybody who doesn't follow the law. Their tactics are based on the squad size because they're known for arriving in a larger group in hope that outnumbering the criminals will help them out. So if you're facing NCPD squad, you'll notice they always try to bring more officers. When you fight more than one of them, they will use a stronger die, stronger combat die than the regular one. But on the other hand, if you're just standing against one officer, that gives you actually an advantage. Uh, so more enemies, but more tactical decisions for you to take. And we have unique gun that once belonged to Johnny Silverhand and also new crafting card, a bomb, as well as a completely new quick hack, a soul killer. So those uh, items and the enemies can also be used not only with this expansion, but in the whole game, campaign and the afterlife. So that expansion brings a lot of replayability and depth to completely new missions and expand the experience that you have with Cyberpunk 2077, the board game. Even though the missions are retrospect, you may bend the lore a bit and even use the characters from 2020s in Cyberpunk 2077. As you can see, the contents here are massive. We have two new epic missions, we have new items, a whole new set of enemies, and four iconic characters. So that's a complete big expansion that adds on to Cyberpunk 2077, the board game. An add-on, it's a separate paid content for the base game. It's an optional purchase, either during the campaign or in the pledge manager. And when you buy such an add-on, you not only get all that stuff, but you also contribute to the further growth of the campaign, which helps us unlock more stretch goals. We are very grateful for all the support that you have given us, that you have given to this project. We see your passion, we are hearing your, your voices, uh, and we are able to give more and unlock more and more stretch goals. Uh, if you want to know more details about that expansion and how to add it to your pledge, go to the update. And if you have any other ideas or comments or thoughts, please share them with us. Uh, and we'll get back to you with another video and more news from our campaign soon. So that's it for today. Bye. Back in time.